Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we are jumping into Milano to talk about why this is such a great tool. I have been jumping around in different project management softwares lately uh, and I tried this one out because it is uh, good on the iPad which I recently bought and in today's video I am talking about why this is so good. So let's start off with talking about the organization. So we have these uh, infinite canvases uh, which we have in many other applications as well. So I can zoom out or I can zoom back in by pressing control minus or control plus. Uh, but the way this is organized is that you have these boards right here. All of them are called boards and you can easily customize the boards uh, right here with adding icons or colors. I try to not go too in-depth into color and managing the colors of these because I could spend uh, my whole life just formatting notes and organizing note-taking apps instead of actually working. Uh, and inside of these boards you can actually have other boards as well. So I have that right here. And there are several ways of organizing. So you can create yourself uh, these um, Kanban boards by using the columns right here. And the way you do that is that you just choose something and you drag it in like I have done right here. Uh, so that is quite simple. And you can have multiple ones next to each other and you can drag things back and forward to get yourself, uh, get yourself a Kanban uh, view. I like Kanban views. I. I've always just been drawn to them. I like the, <laughs> the way they work. And you can add different colors into your uh, Kanban boards and your different notes as well. Uh, and the way I have this set up is that I have a Kanban board for every one of my social medias. So YouTube, blog, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok. Uh, and I spend... Uh, I did spend uh, half an hour or so to set everything up for this YouTube video. Uh, so I have a sponsored video coming up here. I have the to-do list for that sponsored video. Uh, I have it linked to the board with the actual video on it. And I have a couple of to-dos that needs to be done uh, for my social media. You can add notes inside of here, but you can also add full on documents. And if you choose to add a note like this one and it becomes too long, Milanote will actually prompt you to make it into a document. The same goes for to-do lists and adding headers to those to-do lists. So if I just write something here really quickly and I stop at some point, it will uh, prompt me to add a title to this list, which is what I've done here and I've done here as well. Uh, and the same goes for notes that end up becoming documents. And this is a document. You have a lot of formatting tools. It works with Markdown as well. And you have the ability to actually export this as PDF, Word document, Markdown or plain text if you ever needed to send this to someone. I actually just copy it and paste it into Medium uh, because that's where I have my blog and it is just much simpler that way. I have a um, board for my archive posts and I can just drag things into there whenever I'm done with them. So whenever this is finished, I will just drag it into archive posts. I have my affiliate links here as well if I ever need them. Uh, it is just an easy way for me to be able to find them. Uh, and that is basically how the organization works inside of here. You have the ability to add Kanban boards. You have uh, the ability to add uh, boards within boards. But in general, this is more of a mind mapping tool. Uh, and I like it a lot. I think it is great uh, for people who work in design. That's mainly what I have been using this for before 
uh, I made this video. I mainly use it for bigger design projects, so at work or when I'm designing something for my uh, clothing brand, I like to have a board with a lot of inspiration and color swatches and everything inside of there. Uh, it also has a great iPad app, as I mentioned, and a mobile app. And inside of the mobile app, you can take what's called quick notes. And this is one of the things I love about this app. So whenever I'm out walking or um, on the bus on public transport, I can write something down quite quickly and it will appear here and I can just drag it into the board. Uh, and you can also do note taking inside of here, even though it is mainly a um, project management tool, uh, it can be used for note taking as well. And what's different with taking notes here uh, compared to a lot of the other note taking apps is that many of the note taking apps create silos with different notebooks, folders, or tags. And uh, every time you're looking for something, you have to actually search for them. This is a more visual approach with thing which uh, apps like Heptabase and Squintle also have. You get to see everything in one whiteboard, in one place, uh, in one page. Uh, this thing has many names. Uh, and the way I would take notes inside of here is that I would just have a bunch of notes and I would link them together using these arrows right here. Uh, whenever something needs to be linked to another note. And I would try to at least have some, uh, some kind of structure inside of here using these lines right here to make it look better so it is more visually pleasing to look at. But the mm, reasons for why I think this is such a good app, uh, and if you compare it to the uh, likes of Heptabase and Squintle, it lacks a couple of things like the ability to backlink, but I think that it is more beautifully designed, which matters to some people. And it is also a better if you work with designing things because you have the ability to add things like color swatches as well. You have the ability to both take notes and plan your whole entire project. Um, so as I said, it is more of a project management tool, but if you treat your whole life like a project, this can work quite well. Uh, I like the fact that they haven't added every single feature possible into this and made the app really slow because there are apps that do that. They have a couple of things on their roadmap, which has been there for a long while. One of them is actually to have one place you can see all of your tasks from your different boards, which I think will be a game changer. Um, but apart from that, I like the way the iPad app works as well, having the ability to draw and uh, to use the Apple Pencil with this is something I know a lot of people do like and enjoy. And there are a couple of more uh, cool features that I just wanted to touch on. So I said that you don't have the ability to backlink, but one thing you can do is to add a synced copy of a card into another board. Uh, so the way you do that is just by right clicking and creating a synced copy, then copy and pasting it someplace else. And I have done that uh, with this one. So this lives in my resources, but it also lives in my uh, you are creative social media idea, which is a YouTube video I am working on. And the same goes for boards. So you can create a shortcut to this board and just copy and paste it into, into another board like this. I have done that before, so I will just remove this. Uh, so a board can also live in multiple places. As I said, this is more of a project manager than a regular note-taking app, but a lot of people have been enjoying it as their note-taking app as well. It does a better job at capturing images than uh, things like Heptabase, Scrintle, and even Affine. 
uh, and it is much better at the visual things so if you are a person that captures a lot of different uh, pictures images uh, and inspiration from the web the web clipper here is really good and this is probably better especially if you work with designing things but if you just want to take regular notes like this and you don't need to uh, plan your projects inside of your note taking app uh, this probably isn't it for you the pricing on this uh, they have a um, free plan which gives you a hundred uh, hundred things let's call it things so a uh, hundred whether that's notes or to do cards so you can place a hundred things inside of your whole workspace and uh, the monthly plan is 9.99 usd each month which is fairly priced compared to a lot of the other apps out there but as i said in general i think this app is more tailored towards those who work in design but it can have many use cases if you are looking for a fully visual note-taking app and not just adding uh, different cards on a whiteboard and writing on them if you're looking for something a little bit more with the ability to add images and link images together this might be the app for you thank you so so much for watching today's video and i hope to see you again quite soon